with interviews from Oregon to Washington, D.C., and Omaha in between. Head football coach Mike Minner has been quite the commodity during the Panthers' playoff run. Kind of brings back a lot of memories of, of the Super Bowl when we was um, going there in 2004. And, um, and so it's, it's always good um, for us as a football program because, you know, I'm, I'm back in the media and I'm talking about Campbell University, our football team, and, and the Carolina Panthers. I get excited about those things. And so um, it gives me an opportunity to reconnect with the people in North Carolina. And so that, that's really what it's all about to me is, is uh, being able to reconnect. They say, oh, I forgot about that old man. He, he's still around. Yeah, he's still around. So he, now, oh, he's coaching at Campbell. Oh, okay. And so now they start paying attention to where we at. While Coach Minner certainly appreciates the attention, he never anticipated the amount of interviews that were coming his way leading up to Super Bowl 50. When, when you think about this process, yeah, of course you, you think about one or two interviews because you played in the Super Bowl and your ex-team is going to the Super Bowl, so people want to know what's going on and um, what you think and, and how, how do you feel about when you went compared to when they going now. And so, so you figure two or three. You didn't figure, you know, 25, 30, right? So, I mean, um, it's it's been taxing, but it's been fun, you know. And uh, what I guess what it showed me is is everything that I put in when I was playing with the media, um, they still feel like, you know, I'm a spokesperson for the Carolina Panthers um, as a retired guy. So, um, you know, that's, that's definitely an honor and, and um, definitely um, well received. But I definitely didn't imagine having 25, 30 interviews about the Super Bowl.